uh, fix the eyes on somebody who inadvertently closed their eyes. So what I normally do is I take two or three pictures because there's always somebody who closes their eyes. And uh, for here, you can see that her eyes are closed. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the picture where her eyes are open. And I did a countdown, and the baby's eyes are closed, but that's okay. The baby didn't know the countdown. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the rectangular marquee select tool. And I'm going to click and drag. I'm also going to select the nose, because I'm going to use the nose as a reference, a landmark. Once it's selected, I'm going to do Control J. And that's going to put it onto its own layer. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take off the visibility on the other layer, the background, so you can see what we're working with. So now we're going to go to the Move tool. We're going to go and just click it. And now you can just click and drag the uh, new layer that we did. And I'm just going to click and drag and hover over the other picture. So once I hover over it, now I can just uh, either release it or put it in kind of where I want it. So I'm going to go ahead and release it. And now you can move it around, uh, place it wherever you need to. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that your layer that you're working with is selected. So make sure that's blue. So now I'm just kind of repositioning it. Uh, the eyes. Now I'm doing Control J. I'm sorry, Control Plus to zoom in and to move the picture. You can hold down the space bar and click and drag. And then to reposition the eyes, you just need to uh, just click on the eyes and then move it down. Now uh, the head is slightly tilted from one picture to the other. So what we have to do here is go ahead and uh, tilt the, the eyes that we copied over. So we're going to do Control T. That brings it up into free transform mode. And the little arrows come out once you go to the corner. And now you can just rotate it. And what I do is I adjust the opacity. And I don't mess with the numbers. I just go where the word opacity is. The double arrows come out. And you can drag to the left and to the right. And this way you can quickly see, um, you know, the opacity. Now this might take, for some, depending on the picture, a few minutes to only a few seconds. And now what I'm doing is I'm just trying to um, position the nose in the right place. And that's probably going to be the best landmark. That way the eyes are all right. So now that I got it right, you can either hit the plus or you can just hit enter on your keyboard. Once you do that, you're going to go to layer, layer mask, and then it's going to be the first one. And when you do that, uh, it's going to make a white background. You need to hit or paint in black. So for the double arrows, you can either hit, click it, or you can hit the X on the keyboard. So once you hit the X, now your foreground is black. And now you need to use the brush tool. Or you can do B on the keyboard. Now this is your brush. And uh, right now I have it feathered. You can use the hard edge if you like, but I do not recommend it. You can also adjust the size here. Um, or you can do the left and right bracket key, which is to the right of the letter P. And that will adjust the size left going down smaller and right going larger. So now once you have the right brush size, you can just paint over it. And right now I'm using my brush tool and I'm painting with black. So it's going to be hiding everything else. And the only thing I'm going to leave is the eyes. So I'm painting the nose, the uh, eyebrows, everything else. So now if you make a mistake and you accidentally paint the eye, well now you can just paint with white and it'll uh, have the eye come back. You can either hit the double arrows or you can do the X on the keyboard. It'll change the foreground color to white and then you can just paint again. And this is much easier than using the eraser tool. 
And the eraser tool, what that does, it, it's not so um, lenient as far as mistakes go. So I always do the layer mask. And right now you're pretty much done. So that was pretty fast, you know. Once you get it down, it'll take like maybe a minute or two. So zooming out is control minus. And here you can see the before and after. And all I'm doing is toggling the little eye, which makes the layer visible or not visible. And again, nice and easy. It takes like a minute or two, and um, that's it. So now this is the picture that will be printed with her eyes open.